What's up, fam? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. And we're going to be talking about Jonathan Major. Um, so Jonathan Major, you know, at the point and at the peak of his career where he's about to really blow up, was arrested yesterday in NYC uh, for assaulting a woman. Now, later on, this was updated to this woman was his girlfriend. Now, here's allegedly what happened, you know, to let up to this uh, per law enforcement. Now, police were told that the alleged victim is Major's girlfriend. And according to her, they got into an argument while in a taxi returning home from a bar in Brooklyn. Our sources say police were told the girlfriend saw another woman texting Majors and she confronted him. Trying to sneak a peek at his phone, we're told the alleged victim girlfriend claims this, this got Majors mad and that he allegedly grabbed her hand and allegedly slapped her. We're also told the alleged victim claims he put his hands around her neck during this, our sources say the woman was dropped off somewhere and that Jonathan Major spent the night elsewhere. It appears the girlfriend went to the police the following morning, probably mad that he didn't come home, and reported the crime. So she reported the crime on Saturday. Jonathan Major was arrested this weekend. And according to the police, he's being accused of putting his hands on his girlfriend. His team, of course, is calling BS. Uh, law enforcement sources tell us the actor was booked Saturday morning on charges of strangulation, assault, and harassment. We're told cops responded to a call for service around 11 a.m. near the Chelsea neighborhood of Manhattan. So she didn't call the cops until the following morning, probably once she's seen he didn't return. That's no here nor there. That's not to defend him, but it's just a little suspect that she didn't call the police right away. We're told the alleged victim in this case of female Relayed to police that Majors had gotten into a dispute with her and proceeded to attack her. Their exact relationship was unknown at the time, but then later on he found out that it was his girlfriend. Our sources tell us alleged victim had uh, visible injuries, including a laceration behind her ear, redness and marks to her face. She was taken to an area hospital and is in stable condition. And for Majors, he was cuffed, taken to jail on the spot as police felt there was enough evidence for probable cause we're hearing he is currently out of custody. Now, people were saying that the, the girl went down and bailed him out, but the reports I got is he was released without bail. Um, it just says Majors is a huge celebrity these days. He's been in everything from Marvel's latest Ant-Man movie to Michael B. Jordan's Creed 3 flick and other blockbusters as well over the past couple of years. The guy has gotten rave review for the performance and is seen as a rising star. He was even at the Oscars a few weeks ago and was among many presenters. Now, again, we have to respect, and just to let you know, this picture that we see here, when you Google Jonathan Major's girlfriend, because it was unclear exactly who she was, this was the last girl that he took with him on the red carpet. I believe this was Creed, I'm not sure on the red carpet, and they were hand-locked. They were locked hand-in-hand. Hand. So this is no publicist or anything like that. I believe this is, you know, when you Google his girlfriend, this is who comes up. So if this is not, so I'm going to say this is allegedly his girlfriend, all right? Now, here's the, here's the issue. You're going to have people now, just like Tim Nicole, you're going to have people now come out and say, Oh, we been knew about this. Oh, we been knew he was a creep. Oh, we been knew this guy was a douche. You're gonna see, you're gonna hear this now, right? And now here's Tim Nicole. I'm just gonna say this about Jonathan Majors and be done with it. Folks at Yale and the broader NYC community have known about him for years. He's a sociopath and abuser, and that is how virtually everyone speaks about him. Everyone? It's a shame it took this long for him to be reported. Okay? Now, this person said, 
I'm not saying Jonathan Major is innocent or guilty, but then people couldn't wait. Now it's the community have known about this for years when they found out his girlfriend is also Yale. Okay, so you know this this is what happens every single time a, a, a black celebrity. And I'm not saying that he should get a pass because he's a black celebrity, but when 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 they're not black, they talk about it, and then as long as the woman is, is good with them, you don't hear nothing about it. what what's the guy, what was the MMA uh dude? White Dana White hit his beat up his girlfriend in, in a bar. You heard nothing about it after the night, after that first night. Nothing about it. They're going to drag this, especially since this guy is coming up in the ranks. Another person commented, I'm not saying it either. I am saying that speaking out, if you know something, is never wrong. It's hard to speak against a celebrity. It's hard to speak against someone that we know. Putting his name on this tweet was a risk. I doubt he took lightly. So everyone is commenting now. People are saying he, this guy should be canceled. And this is the problem that you have when you are a black celebrity. Dude, I'm not saying you did or did not do it. But you have to keep yourself out of these predicaments. And one thing that I do have to touch on, people in the comments saying, oh, he deserves what he gets because she was a white woman. She's allegedly a white woman. So you're saying that, White women deserve to get beat up by black men. They don't deserve, white women don't deserve to get, they should be protected from, from domestic violence and from being, you know, abused and hurt. Just like a black woman, just like a Spanish woman, just like a Latino woman. I mean, come on. You're saying, oh, he deserves it and she deserves it because she's white. That's a terrible thing to say. Right? And when, when stuff like this happens to black people um, inflicted on them by a white person, you, you don't have that same tune. You don't say, oh, you deserved it. Well, they deserved it. No woman deserves to get that get hands put on them, right? And, and just because you're arguing or just because you're mad. Throw in alcohol. Whenever there's alcohol involved, it's always an added dimension. You know, I'm going to say that we need to let it play out first to find out the story. Let it play out after he goes to court. I mean, he's been accused, but he has not been convicted of anything. You know what I'm saying? So he has to go to let him have his day in court. But you're going to start seeing, you're going to start seeing other people speaking. And don't be surprised if a, some mysterious girl from the past whether she's paid to do so or whether it really happened. And, be and because when it happened, he wasn't a star. But now that he's a star and someone else reported him, don't be shocked if you start seeing these stories meticulate from nowhere. Don't be shocked. Me, I don't know the brother. You know, I only made judgments on, I, I, I made a comment on the way he looked. I'm like, this guy's considered a sex symbol. You know what I'm saying? So those, those only the recent comments that I made. Now, you're going to start people, unfortunately, and this is the culture we live in, Michael B. Jordan, until this is sorted out. You're going to have to distance yourself from Jonathan Majors. I'm sorry. And he's going to have to understand. Until this is sorted out, Michael B. Jordan, you're going to have to distance yourself from Jonathan Majors. And he's going to have to understand. Because one thing, uh, this, uh, you know, the, the, the masses love more. The only thing that lasts is love more than taking down a successful black man is taking down two. And if you continue to be seen with Jonathan May, they're going to say, oh, so Michael B. Jordan doesn't care about, about domestic violence. He doesn't care about women being abused. 
Watch. Michael B. Jordan, you're going to have to distance yourself from Jonathan Majors for the time being, and he's going to have to understand. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood. This has been the IE Network, Heaven Hollywood Report. <laughs>